Scientists are still working every day to learn more about how the coronavirus spreads and infects people so that they can help slow it down. So last week, Rob looked into how this virus compares to other viruses with pandemic potential. Quite a few of you reached out to him on social saying that you wanted more science deep dive. So he is here with us this morning with part two. Rob, what are you looking into today? Yeah, so Kristen, if you caught the science deep dive last week, you heard me uh, use the word are not. It's the number scientists use to represent how quickly a contagious disease spreads. And understanding the r not can help us explain how one case of a disease on the other side of the world can become a global pandemic. To understand r not, all you have to do is think about the number one, a single case of coronavirus. If the r not is above one, that means every person with the illness is infecting one other person. And that means the disease is increasing exponentially. So let's do the math. If the r not number is above one, like 1.5, that means each sick person is infecting one and a half other people. If you take a group of, say, 100 people who have all tested positive for COVID-19, those 100 people will infect 150 people. Then each of those 150 would infect one and a half others. So now 225 more people are infected. That group infects another 337. So at this rate, by the 10th generation of the disease, or a little less than two months time, the total number of newly infected people would rise from 100 to 5,766 people. But now let's see what happens if the number is less than one, say 0.8. Now each sick person would pass the disease along to fewer than one other person. So if we go back to that same group of 100, but infect them with a disease of an r naught of 0.8, that group of 100 would only infect 80 new people. Those 80 would infect 64, and then those 64 would only infect 51 people. So after about two months time, the number of newly infected people would fall from 100 to 11. In a little over two months time, it's basically gone. The good news here is we can do things to reduce the r naught number. But it's not always easy work. Health experts don't expect the coronavirus to disappear anytime soon. But they do say that wearing a mask, washing your hands, and staying out of crowds can help the r not get smaller and smaller. 